Sonia Arison is a futurist. She tries to make sense of global trends and help us understand where these trends are leading us. She has spent the last 10 years studying the new technology that will help humans live much longer and much healthier lives. There are huge advances being made in regenerative medicine, genomics, gene therapy, and nanotechnology. All of those technologies are advancing at a rapid pace right now, and soon they'll be mainstreamed. When that happens, life expectancy will skyrocket, much like it did in the last century. It shouldn't seem far-fetched that we could live to be 150 years old. That's roughly a doubling of our life expectancy, which we've already done once in the past. People will be living for 15 decades or more. And if you consider advances in reproductive technology, you could see couples having children into their 80s, 90s, or even beyond. Life will look a lot different. Along with a group of like-minded futurists, Sonia started Singularity University, where leaders from all fields learn about rapidly evolving technologies and help address humanity's grand challenges, war, illness, energy, pollution, and even death. We want students to see how human ingenuity can be harnessed to change the world. And we want them to get as excited about solving problems as we are. One of the favorite classes I teach is on the ethics of longevity, where we take a look at some of the unintended consequences of extending human health spans so that we can address some of those issues before they come up so we can realize all the benefits, all the positive benefits. One of the things I've learned is that some of the problems we perceive today, such as overpopulation, resource depletion, will not be problems. And that surprises people. So if I asked you how long you wanted to live, what would you say? Forever, as long as the quality is good. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, ditto on that. And also to add to that, as long as my family lived yeah. too. If we could live to 150 years in a healthy state, we'd still have some challenges. What do you think those challenges would be? The biggest problem is the people who want to stop at 80, right? And we don't want to lose them. How do we convince them to join us? I want people to fight for their lives. I think that right now, People are in this pro-death trance where they just accept the idea that dying at 80 is okay and it's natural and it's fine. There's a deep worry in society that if we live longer, we won't be able to afford it. But that's only true if we can't be healthy. If we can extend our health expectancy, then we also extend our productivity. When we do that, we extend our wealth. Basically, health equals wealth. I wrote 100 Plus because I want readers to consider the proposition of longer and healthier lives. Because that is our future. That is our real future. That's where technology is heading.